This is what happens to your hair after you spent the whole morning riding and wearing a cap when you try and film a video. It doesn't quite work. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a huge tack haul and I'm so, so excited. But it's like hard to be excited because some of these things, these all these things are from like different events and some of them, like while I'm filming now, um, it's not my birthday for another week and I'm hoping to include the things that I get for my birthday. So, this is going to be a very large haul. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape or form. Um, a majority of these things I did save up for quite a while for. Um, a lot of them were like a graduation present to myself because I just graduated from high school. And others are obviously birthday presents for my birthday in a week. And other things I bought at the Adelaide Australian International three day event which I also saved up for because I wanted to get some things there. So I'm not trying to brag in any way shape or form. And if you want to leave nasty comments, then you can go leave them somewhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. So the first item that I have to show you is kind of like a carry-on from my last tack haul. In my last tack haul, which I will leave linked down below, I got the all the like orange stuff from the Shogamore range. And to match that, I got the polo wraps to go with the saddle pad. So yeah, so I have these really, really cool orange polo wraps. They just look like this. They're orange and the... Um, like the tab on them is navy which I really like because it kind of breaks up all the colour which yeah I think it's really cool. These were I think $35 or something and yeah so these are to match my saddle pad that I got. So the next thing that I got, um, all these first couple things that I'm showing you um, are from like a pile of stuff that I got from Chibalo and these were all like my graduation presents to myself because I just graduated like 13 years of school so why not go and buy myself some Shagamore stuff. So the next thing that I got in the things that I got from Chibale, these are kind of controversial but I'm so, so happy that I have these and Lord and knows these are just so, so great. So the next thing that I got are a pair of Shokomo stirrups and they come in this freaking awesome orange box. So these are show jumping stirrups but I rode in them because I've always had trouble with my stirrups, um, just stirrups in general, like they rotate under my feet and they just really really irritated me so Dale suggested that I try some of these and I really really like them. They give me a huge amount more um, balance. They give me so much more balance and I just find they are so much easier to keep and they help with my heel and my leg and everything and they're just great. So even though they're show jumping stirrups, I got them for training. They are a bit dirty, I need to clean them because I've ridden, ridden, been, because I've been riding in them the past couple of days, but they look like these. They come in tons of different colours, but I got the navy ones just because I liked them the most, to be honest. And I know people will be like, oh you can't like compete in navy stirrups. I mean a, why not? But B, these are mostly for like training at home and for if when we start jumping slash eventing, they will be for that as well. Um, so yeah, so I got the navy colour because I liked it the most. So they look like this. I'm going to do like a review on these because surprisingly not that many people have them and there's a lot of like free jump versus these versus other stirrups so yeah I'm gonna do like a review kind of thing on them so I'll talk more about them then so I'm just gonna briefly go on about them here but they look like this they have this really big grill on the bottom with these like grippy uh, thingies <laughs> and yes yeah, so look like this they angle um, they angle slightly down like this so it's easier to push your heel down like this and they have shock mount on this side with a little orange tab and Lorenzini on this side which are the actual like maker of them with like a little Italian flag bit here and obviously there are two of them but they kind of keep them in the box so I don't want to get the other one out but yeah so these are the next thing that I got they were $295 which yes I'm aware is expensive but you know it's my money and I worked to pay for these and I really wanted these for a long time they're going to improve my writing so so much and I just love them so and they're still cheaper than the free jumps which to be honest, I personally don't hate, do not like as much as these. So yes, yeah, so these are the next thing that I got and I'm super, super excited and in love with them. The next thing that I got is also from the bunch of stuff that I got from Chibalo. Let me just, let me just get there. Struggle is 
it's definitely real. So the next thing that I got is this saddle pad and it is from the new Shockamore Chrome range and it looks like this. It is black and it's actually satin, it's not like the normal um, saddle pad material um, but it's a little bit fancy so it's satin and it has this really really cool patent leather um, trim and a silver like piping around the edge which I think is really really cool. It has the logo like this, which has the, this is um, the logo for this season's Shockmore collections and it's also in patent and I got this because I have a black one um, and it's the Roma brand and it's a weird shape and it just really doesn't fit my saddle very well so I got this to replace that and yeah I really really like it. It has the classic Shockmore sports along the top in this like really cool silver metallic thread and yeah. So this is really really cool, it looks like this, it's in the dressage cut and it still has the waffle on the inside which is awesome because I love me some waffle. And yeah, so this was $105 and it's really really cool, it's more expensive than like most of the Shockamore saddle pads because it has, um, it's so different, like it has, it's satin and it has um, the patent leather detailing and everything and yeah, so I really really like this. If you want one of these, get on it quick because they are seasonal and I know they're going out of stock very very fast so of course there'll be links to everything down below so if you want one of these get on it. So I think that's all that I got from um, my like bunch of stuff at Darrow. I feel like there's more but there's not but there is I don't know I think that's it. So yeah so that's it for the bunch of stuff that I got from um, Chibalo, uh, who is run by my, if I say like from Dale or from Chibalo, Dale um, Flynn, my instructor, um, Chibalo is like his and his parents' um, business thing, I don't know what you would call it, but yeah, so that's all the stuff that I got from Chibalo, and that um, those things were like the graduation present that I got myself, because an excuse is a good one. So. Moving along to the things that I got at the Adelaide International Horse Trials and I also saved for this event for a while because there's always really amazing trade stalls so, so the first thing that I got from um, it's got dog hair in it. The first thing that I got from Adelaide International Horse Trials was actually I actually bought this before the um, trials even started. I helped it started on thir on Thursday and I helped Dale um, set up the Chibalo stall on the Wednesday and while I was setting up I saw this little number and I just thought it was bloody beautiful. So I got this polo shirt, it's a Shakamore polo shirt, it's navy and it has the little um, logo here and it says sports team along the front. I really like this um, white detail here, I have another similar shirt to this with white detail here and a white collar and I really really love that and yep yeah, so I thought this looked really really nice looks like this and it was the only one they had left in this size which is extra extra small and it was on sale because it's like old stocks so I was like you know why not um, and it has this detailing on the back of the collar which is really really cool so if you have the collar up to like protect your neck from getting sunburnt it has this really cool um, Shockamore sports detailing on the back and I think this was about seven oh this was on sale for seventy dollars and they're originally 95 which I know in America at well, yes, in America, polo shirts are a lot cheaper than they are here, and you guys have like Ralph Lauren and US Polo Association and everything. But in Australia, polo shirts are really freaking expensive. Like, I kid you not, it's quite normal to spend $100 on a polo shirt. Like, it's actually ridiculous how expensive polo shirts are. And, like, even though I got this on sale for $70, I think $96 is quite decent considering the really awesome detail, the fact that it is a brand name shirt, and the quality of this. It's just amazing. So this was 96 reduced to 70 and I really really like it and you guys will probably see this in a couple of videos very shortly. I'm quite aware that when I film hauls I kind of like blab on so much and then I get to the end and I'm like this is ridiculously long for no apparent reason apart from the fact that I'm sitting here like blabbering on about all this junk. Um, not not the stuff, the stuff's not junk, just, I'm just talking about crap that's not even relevant. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind me just kind of... The next thing that I got from the Australian International Horse Trials is a jacket. I looked at these jackets um, at the start of winter when I was kind of planning a, like a, 
a, like better quality, um, bigger price tag kind of jacket to get. And I didn't end up getting it because they didn't have my size. And then when I was at the horse trials, I saw it and it was like sitting on a chair because it was Dale's mum's and I was like, oh, I'll just try that on. And it was like freezing as well. Um, and I tried it on and I loved it and it was just so amazing. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy that. So the next thing that I got is this jacket. It looks like this. You guys probably seen it on my Instagram already. There's a photo of it on there and I will have my Instagram link down below as usual. So it looks like this. It is grey on this side and it has um, this really cool like... <laughs> this really cool like orange and white detailing on the elastic which is on the bottom and around the sleeves and on the back this this like sealed the deal for me when she turned it around I was like so this is the back of the jacket and it has Shokomo Sports embroidered on the back and their like logo and it just looks so so amazing and yeah so that is not the only reason that I bought this jacket believe it or not so this side which is grey is the um, shower proof side and then it's actually reversible so you turn it all the way inside out which I'm not going to do because it takes ages and this side is this side is um, navy with little like white detailing and this side is completely waterproof so you're pretty much getting two jackets in one and they had an extra extra small so it fits me and yeah so it's really amazing and it was $135 which I mean it does sound expensive but when you consider they are literally getting two jackets in one like that's such a good price anyway and then add on top of that that it's like a brand name jacket that's a really really amazing price so yeah so this was the next thing that I got it looks like this and I love it and yeah that will come in very handy in winter by the way so the next thing that I got at the Adelaide horse trials is something that I've been looking for literally since last horse trials they had these um last year and I didn't get one because I didn't I don't know, last year at this time I really wasn't into any brands or anything, like I just got, you know, stuff from Horseland or whatever, and then I think since like then until now Hannah has just like eaten away at my brain until <laughs> until I realised that, you know, brands like Shockamole and Prestige and Micklem and Spooks and Animal, whatever, are really, really amazing and she like literally just got me addicted. Um, so yes, yeah, so I saw these last year at Adelaide and I didn't get one, um, obviously because I like just wasn't really into that kind of stuff then as much as I am now. <laughs> um, and yeah, on my wish list video which I made or like brands I would like to try, I did mention this brand and when I saw these at this price in this colour I was like, girl, I can get me one of those. So the next thing that I got is this saddle pad and it's coming off quite um, bright on the camera but it's actually quite like a dark burgundy colour but it is this saddle pad, it is by the brand Lemure so it has their um, like thing here which they have on all their saddle pads. It's black on the inside and this like burgundy red kind of colour on the outside. One thing I really love about this is these like little billet straps here. So usually these tuck um, around your girth to hold the saddle pad in place and stuff it's slipping. But these actually go through the D-rings on your saddle which I think is a really really good idea. Um, like a really really practical idea so I really love that about it. It has the um, Lemure Pro Sport like logo across the top which is really cool and it's also this like really cool shape I don't know if you can really see that but yeah it's just really really nice so I cannot wait to use this you guys might see this like before this video comes out um because obviously I have to like wait till after my birthday or whatever to film the rest of this video but yeah so this was $70 which I actually think is ridiculously cheap for something like this I mean you go to horse sand and you spend $70 on like an av not not average but like a regular kind of saddle pad whereas this is like a like a European brand it's like a really technical shape it's this really cool suede fabric and it has a lot of just really cool features and it was like the same price as what you spend on just like a regular saddle pad or horse sand so yeah so this is pro sport I think you say this Lemure that's how I say it but I will leave a link to it all down below and I got this from the Valley Horsewear trade store so if any of my Australian viewers are wondering where you can buy Lemure stuff Valley Horsewear are really good I'll have them linked down below but yes this was the next thing I got is this burgundy Lemure dressage saddle pad and it was $70 I don't know if I said that so while I was in the Valley Horsewear trade store um, buying that I stumbled across these and 
For every set of pads, you obviously need a pair of matching wraps, at least I do, I don't know if that's like a thing, but it is for me. And I saw these and I was like, oh, we have a little matchy matchy going on here. So as you can see, they are pretty much the same colour. These look at like a different colour um, on the camera, but they are pretty much the same colour. Um, so they are these Escadron Polar Wraps. They are in this, I don't know what this colour is called, but I think it's just like burgundy or whatever. And they just look like regular Polar Wraps. Get one out. Look like this. I really like the Escadron Polar Wraps. They're like a really good length and thickness and everything. And they were like 25 bucks from Valley Horseware. And I know even from most other places, the Escadron Polar Wraps are pretty cheap. So yeah, so I got these to match those. And like I said, they were $25. So adding up like these and the saddle pad, that's $95 for a whole set. Like that is actually so good considering like some, like the black chrome Shockamore saddle pad I paid $105 for. That's like just the side I've had before you even like talking about polar wraps. So I think that was really, not that I don't think like the Shockamore one is a good price. That's an amazing price because it's like a really like pimped out saddle pad. But I think it like $95 for a set, which is like a Lemio saddle pad and Escadron polar wraps is an amazing price. So that is that there. So starting on the things that I got for my birthday, this first thing was a gift from Hannah. Thank you so much, Hannah. You. You know how much I love you and appreciate you. Um, so yeah, so Hannah got me this from the Horse Trials. She knows that it's something that I've been wanting for a while. And so I'm super, super thankful to Hannah for getting me this. And it is this saddle pad, the pretty. So this is what Hannah got me for my birthday. I'm in love with it. I just think it's so gorgeous. It is this Shockamore saddle pad in the cloud color. I was debating between the cloud and the navy. Um, but colours like these just suit Hugo so much and it wouldn't be me unless it was like brightly coloured because you know I like brightly coloured stuff. Um, so yeah, so she got me this saddle pad. It is the cloud and neon orange and has the really cool like globe logo on it and it's actually, surprise for me, it's actually um, a GP shape or like a jump shape as opposed to a dressage one. Um, so yeah, so when Hugo and I eventually start jumping or if or whatever, I don't even know. This is going to be just amazing. I love the colours and I want to make these um, like symbolic colours for Hugo and I like uh, venting or what I don't even know. It's hard to say what's going to happen in the future. No one really knows but like if we were to event these would be my colours. I just think they're so cool. It has the classic Shockamore Sport on the top of course and yeah it looks like this. So it's these really and I'm hopefully taking Hugo out in the forest this weekend and I will probably use this if I use my like GP saddle so you guys may see this on Instagram but yeah I love this so so much and I'm so so thankful to Hannah for getting me this and it again it's a seasonal range so I think they're kind of like getting sold out everywhere but I will leave some links down below anyway and then proceed with the rest of the stuff so the next thing that I got for my birthday is from my family and it is these stirrup leathers. So the stirrup leathers that I have, um, of course, are like fully functional and they're good and everything. But because they were relatively cheap, they kind of leach uh, like black colour on my saddle pads and stuff. And yeah, so I thought I would ask for some new ones. So these are the Shakama ones, of course. And they they just look like stirrup leathers, to be quite honest. They are black, like this. They're really, really soft leather and they're gorgeous. They're 145 centimetres long. Which is very long, some extra holes may be needed. Um, but they have these really good big um, number, numbered holes on them and they have the little Shockamore logo on the end like this. I hope you guys can see that. And yeah, so I'm really really excited to use these. They were $70 I believe, um, which I think is a really really good price because um, they're like full proper leather and everything. So yeah, so that was the next thing that I got for my birthday. The next thing that I got is something that I bought um, at the Adelaide Horse Trails but my mum paid for it and then like when I got home I gave it to her and she put it away for my birthday and it is this polo shirt. So every year at Adelaide they make like merchandise polo shirts and this year they had like the original one and they had a sky blue one like this colour which was really nice um, and they had a pink and navy one and they had this one and I thought this would go really really well with the chrome saddle pad and my polo wraps and I didn't have a black polo shirt. So yeah, so I got this one. So it looks like this. It has the um, 
Australian International 3-day event and FEI logos here. And then on this side it has a 4-star jumping horse because um, the Australian International 3-day event is the only 4-star in the Southern Hemisphere, which is really, really cool. And it's in little old Adelaide, which is, again, really cool. So yeah, it has Adelaide on the back and it has the 4-stars on this sleeve and then it has the Aussie flag on this sleeve which I think is really really cool so I'm super excited to wear this I think I might wear this on my less in my lesson tomorrow which is Thursday um, so you guys will probably see some photos of this which is cool and um, this was $55 I think I think don't quote me you can get these on the Australian International website so I'll leave it down below and you may be able to get some of these still um, so yeah so I'm super happy with this and I can't wait to wear it with my um, chrome set. Next and final, I think, two things that I got for my birthday are some books. So the first one that I got is Down to Earth Dressage by Carl Hester and Bernadette Fury. Um, this book is like, I couldn't, when I saw this I was like, <coughs> I was like, oh my gosh, Carl Hester looks like a prepubescent boy on this book, which is so cool. It was published in... I don't know when we are published. In 1999, so Carl Hester probably was a prepubescent boy in this. Um, but of course the principles are going to be the same, you know, dressage hasn't, I mean obviously it's changed but you know the core principles are still there. And this is just like a basic training book, it's about paces and you know things like center lines and holds and stuff and I think they're the most um, important things to have right because if you don't have your basics right you know you can't really progress so yeah so I'm really really excited to go through this and read about all the things Carlos has to say I've read some training things from him in other um, books that I have I think I've shown them in some previous videos um, but yeah I'm really really excited to read this because it's mainly um, by him with like additions from Bernadette Fury who I'm not that familiar with um, Obviously, I know she's a dressage writer. Um, so yeah, so I'm really, really excited to read this. And if I can find a link to this somewhere, I'll leave it down below. So that is Down to Earth Dressage by Carl Hester and Bernadette Fury. And the last thing that I got is Carl Hester's new autobiography, Making It Happen. So it just looks like this. Um, and I'm really excited to read this. Carl Hester looks slightly more his own age in this book. This was quite recently released, um, I believe, in March or May this was released um, so yeah I'm really excited to read this it has some really cool um, qualities about it obviously it has like all the photos and stuff on the inside at you know like regular intervals kind of thing so yeah so I'm very excited to read this um, Carl Hester is my absolute idol um, he is the one well obviously I look up to lots of different horse riders for different reasons but this guy is the main, he's, yeah, he's my main idol, so I'm really, really excited to read this and read about his life and his journey, and yeah, I'm very excited. So I will leave a link to this down below as well, and I think that's all that I got. Some things I didn't show in this video, um, I pre-recorded some of this ages ago when I first got my phone's ringing. I don't know who that is. Um, <laughs> so I pre-recorded some stuff that I got like ages ago. I got some a pot of Donnybrook hoof grease and a rug, but I don't know where the footage went. So I got them. And then also for my birthday, I got another rug. Um, it's by Caribou. I'll link them down below because Hugo outgrew his rug and he needed a new one. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and just as a little afterthought I would like to do another Q&A because I really really enjoyed the last one and you guys seem to as well so if you guys have any questions for me for a Q&A just leave them down below and I'll make sure I get around to all of them in a Q&A video very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you to everyone for the birthday wishes on Instagram and um, other social media platforms. Um, that was really, really kind of you guys and I really appreciate it. And thank you to my family and my friends and everyone for these gifts and everything. So I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.